लेक्चर नंबर टू रोल ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री एम्स टू डिजाइन एंड प्रोड्यूस द कॉस्ट कम्युनिटी केमिकल प्रोडक्ट एंड प्रोसेस दैट अटेन द हाइएस्ट लेवल ऑफ द पोल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन बाय रिड्यूसिंग द पोल्यूशन एट इट सोर्स द केमिकल्स दैट आर लेस एजार्डस टू द ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड द एनवेमेंट आर लेस toxic to the organisms so what are the benefits of green chemistry okay green chemicals either degrade to the innocuous products or are recovered for the further use the plants and animals that suffer less harm from the toxic chemicals in the environment and lower potential for the global warming the ozone depletion and the smoke formation so less chemical disruption of the ecosystems that is the what is it that is a green chemical now who was the father of green chemical you know what is the principle of green chemical you know now green chemi chemistry now also it saves money it can save the companies money by reducing the need for the costly chemicals the reagents and the solvents lowering the insurance and the legal cost reducing the waste disposal disposal cost and saving energy so that is what i can say regarding the green chemistry and now we go for the next that is what do you mean by nano chemistry what do you mean by nano chemistry introduction to a nano chemistry nano chemistry is a combination of chemistry and the nano science nano chemistry is associated with the synthesis of the building blocks which are dependent on the size the surface the shape and the defect properties now nano me what does it mean in chemistry see it is 1 billion okay it is 1 billion matlab it is 10 raised to minus 9 and it is uh, frequently encountered in science by elect and the electronics for the prefixing units for the time and the length so how is nano technology how is it used in chemistry it can enable the sensors to detect the very small amount in the chemical vapors the various types of the detecting elements such as the carbon nanotubes agar aapne suna hoga zinc oxide nano wires or the palladium nano particles which are used in the nano technology so this allows the detection of a very low concentration of the chemical vapors and then what are the uses of uh, nano chemicals it will uh, advances in the disease treatment such as cancer it is better imaging and the diagnosis equipment it's a energy efficient products such as the fuel and source cells improvements in manufacturing and that allows for the durable lightweight and the efficient production tools the next is uh, they can ask you what is the definition of nano technology so how, how do you define nano technology it is a design characterization production and the application of the structures device and the system by controlling the shape and the size of the nanometer scale the next is they may ask you what is uh, nano material what are nano materials nano material it is nano materials describe in principle the materials of which a single unit sized between 1 and 100 nanometers and the nano material research they takes uh, material size science based approach to the nano technology and the advances in the material metrology and the synthesis which have been developed in support of the micro fabrication research so that is regarding the nano material nano what do you mean by nano material it is uh, it can be defined as the materials possess possessing a 
minimum one external dimension and these materials they can have different physical and chemical properties to their bulk form matlab bulk form ka properties are different nano particles are uska properties they are different and what are the examples of nano materials titanium oxide silver synthetic amorphous silica iron oxide azo pigments these are all the examples of nano materials so that is all about for this and then we proceed in the next